Well, you're probably very well aware now how, <laughs> how tough it is for housing. People want to buy houses or pay rents or pay mortgage or anything like that. It's going through the roof. And, and actually, the politicians know that. And so what happens now when things like this happen is they try to throw new programs to solve the problems because that's why they elected. You know, we elect these people to come to Washington or the state capitol or whatever it is and say, hey, this is a problem. Go fix it. And so when we have problems, they try to fix it. And what that really means is that they're throwing money at a problem <laughs> for an answer, because that's what we do in America. We think, well, best way to solve a problem is throw money at it. <laughs> and, and I guess that works sometimes, sometimes not so much. Uh, and, but anyway, what you have to do as a consumer or as a person living in America is be aware of what's going on, where the trends are going, because that's where the you know, it's like if you're a surfer, I was a body surfer, I love doing that, but trying to catch the wave right at the top and ride that wave in. You know, when it's going for a while, then there's no speed, there's no excitement there, it doesn't take you very far. Or trying to find where the next one is, is what it's about. So this is like the next wave starting in our country. It's for programs that will give grants for you to buy a house, fix up a house, uh, be a real estate investor or whatever. Now, I put together again a bunch I just found today. These are new ones uh, out there. Uh, uh, sort of like cities uh, that give out grants now from $25,000 to $35,000 for people to use as down payments and closing costs. Okay, this is available in the city. You know, and, and so every city doesn't have this. But see what I'm showing you, and I have the links here. This is in Massachusetts, and, and the description is in the, uh, in the description. I have all the links. So you could see the actual program there in Massachusetts. But what you have to do is find programs like this where you live. And I do that at the end of this, explaining these programs. I have I show you the procedure for finding the programs f for housing programs where you live. Okay, and that's all in the links too below. Okay, here's another one: a fifty thousand dollar down payment for middle class home buyers. So middle income, not middle class. Well, that may be the same, but middle income home buyers in California get fifty thousand dollar grant for down payment and closing cost money. $50,000, man, you know, that's why it's going crazy. Uh, I, I never knew that $50,000 <laughs> 50, uh, were, were gonna be grants for, it used to be 5,000, 10,000, 20,000 was a lot, or 15,000. Now, we're up to $50,000 of grants to help people. Now, this is government money that you don't have to pay back, so that's in California. Here's another one. Uh, here's what Pennsylvania is doing. Okay, what they're doing, they're trying to get people to pay tax uh, to, to buy houses. What they're doing, they're saying, instead of paying state taxes, put the money aside to buy a house. Okay, so they're really paying for your down payment. So in a couple of years, I don't know how much you pay in taxes, but if you put that money aside, then you could use it. Instead of paying your taxes, you, don't, you get that forgiven. You don't have to pay the state taxes. You have grant money now that you created yourself, or really the, the state did, because instead of you giving the taxes uh, money to the state, they said, ah, just give it to yourself and use it as a down payment. <laughs> but here's another kicker in this thing, and, and it just looks like it's gonna pass both houses. It'll be available soon in, in Pennsylvania. He, Friends and relatives could put money in your account too, and they get the benefit of not paying state taxes. How do you like that? <laughs> now that's terrific. So let's see, the, you're gonna find new stuff like this. People get creative when we're in trouble. That's how you get creative. You, know, you have to be in real trouble to get creative. You know, if you're not in trouble, eh, you know, you get lazy. But when you're in trouble, <laughs> yeah, man, you, your mind starts working. Okay, here's another one. Uh, $150,000 for first generation home buyers. Like in other words, your parents never bought a home. Maybe they are all rentals. And your grandparents or whatever. I don't know how far back it goes. <laughs> you have to get the uh, details there. But God, so if you're the first generation home buyer in your uh, family, $150,000. $150,000, attention please. <laughs> Man, that's amazing to me. That's in California, wouldn't you know it? Uh, okay, here's down payment money in North Dakota. People who just graduated from college could get $18,000 to buy a house. 
$18,000 grant to buy a house because you graduate from college. I guess what they're trying to do is keep the smart people in Dakota. <laughs> Maybe everybody's leaving. They get a degree and go somewhere else and use their talent. So they want to keep you in the Dakotas and uh, make the Dakota uh, grow, grow the North Dakota, South Dakota. I forget which one it is, <laughs> but it's there, okay? And I have the link down there if you live in, in one of the Dakotas. Here's another one. Uh, and this is in Northeast. Uh, a lot of the states have this one. It's $50,000 again for down payment and closing costs for people who of color with incomes, listen to this. Okay, so if you're someone of color, it's for incomes up to $195,000 a year. So you could make be making hundred, almost $200,000 a year, and the government thinks you need a support system <laughs> to buy a house, so they'll give you $50,000, help you buy a house. And you're making hundred, almost $200,000 a year. See, that's why when you say that, oh, I make too, money, too much money to apply for a grant program, you are crazy. You just don't know what's out there. <laughs> that's why you say that. You call one or two places and they say, oh, you make you know, $60,000. That's too much. Our cutoff is $49,000. Oh, I make too much money. Man, here's $200,000. And you get $50,000. Quit complaining. Start researching. <laughs> here's another one in Houston. $50,000 again. Boy, this is getting the new uh, the new uh, down payment money now. It's $50,000 some people are giving out. Uh, and, and what they're giving out, if you haven't owned a house in the last three years, you get $50,000 to buy a house. And this is in Houston. Okay, so now this is the kind of stuff you have to look for. How do you look for this? Where you live, okay? I have another link, okay? All this is going to be in the description. And I know I'll get it in the uh, um, uh, uh, YouTube and, and Instagram, but uh, uh, TikTok, I can't get in there yet. No, no, I'll get there. <laughs> so what you want to do is go to this other uh, link that's in the report too. And I have 10 organizations there that help you find what grants are available where you live to help you buy a house, okay? 10 nonprofit organizations Government offices, no one's going to cost you money, cost you money uh, to find uh, programs for you to help buy a house. See, programs come and go quickly, uh, and that's why you have to start looking for pe with and working with people who know about these programs. You don't go to Google. That's the last, that's a kiss of death that you'll never get on there alive, okay? So just don't go to Google, okay? If you want help and you don't, and you don't have this or whatever, you start at places that give you only free help. Things like Let's Go, I mean, not Let's Go, oh, yeah. Well, actually we do that, but we charge. Uh, 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 Findhelp.org findhelp.org. You go there and you put in housing and you find all the nonprofit organizations that uh, uh, help you with housing. Now, that's a little much there, but better have more than that. Now, here I think are the 10 best to start with. One is HUD.gov counseling. Make an appointment with a HUD counselor. They know all about this program. And if you worry about a uh, credit card and uh, uh, um, credit repair and all that kind of stuff, they handle that too. The next one is neighborworks.org, neighborworks.org. They help you buy a house, particularly if you're low and medium income people. Then your state housing, uh, your state, oh, what do they call it? Housing Finance Organization. And they're at scsha.org, S, no, N-C-S-H-A. N is in Nancy, C is in Charlie, S is in Sam, H is in housing, A is in Apple. Okay, and that's .org. See, it's a .org, just like neighbor works is a .org. And then Federal Home Loan Banks, that's FHLbanks.com. That's a back dot .com because that's a quasi-government stuff. But they have grants and housing, they have it for business, they have it for community development, everything. Great place. Uh, Habitat.org. Now they're terrific. That's a best ha housing deal. They're half price houses because they give you a mortgage with no interest, no zero interest. That means your mortgage is like half price. You know, it's an incredible deal. So that's Habitat, 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 <laughs> H A B I T A T dot org. Okay, make an appointment with them. Actually, what you do, you volunteer to help other people build houses. 
and the, it's people helping people and you get a house at half price, wonderful. Uh, the Rural Development Office of the USDA, Department of Agriculture. That's rd.usda.gov. Some of the best programs for it. You wanna live in a fall, small town? Talk with them about housing program. We have programs there, you don't, you put up like a dollar and you have everything taken care of, even fix up money and everything. So you gotta uh, fix that with them. Also, your local community development financial institution. Community Development Financial Institutions are called CDFIs. These are banks, but they're nonprofit banks, and they get grants to help you finance anything. You gotta find out where they are, where you live. You go to this website, OFN.org. O-F-N, O-F-N.org, okay? And you find out. Okay, the other one, I, I have the link here for uh, uh, <coughs> finding a, uh, houses for a dollar in HUD. And that's at, at HUD.gov. And they, and actually, if you put in dollar, <laughs> D-O-L-L-A-R, uh, they'll find it. Then they have a listing of other, some other programs here of up to $200,000 you get to buy a house. How the cities have different things and a whole bunch of other stuff that you may find helpful. But call each of those 10 offices first before you do anything else and stay out of Google, <laughs> okay? You're gonna lose your shirt, your your pants, your <laughs> your home, your everything. Because people there are so good at selling and, and you'll never find the good stuff in there. So talk to people first who are nonprofit organizations or government offices. They will tell you the scoop because nonprofit organizations or government offices are the only ones that can give out the real grants, okay? So you want a real grant, not somebody who says, you know, whatever. Everybody's making money on the internet, but that's on Google. Stay out of Google, then you don't have to pay anybody anything, okay? See you soon. And that's what we at Let's Go Help. We tell you all about these uh, alternatives. So we show you alternative sources of money and help to solve your financial problems. The alternative sources represent about, oh, a third of everything in our economy is alternative, you know, either government or nonprofit. You have to learn how to use it. And when nobody teaches you how to do that, except us. <laughs> I'm biased, but I'm sure there's some others. Uh, and it's lescohelp.com. We also give out our own grants. We give out over $75,000 worth of grants every month, just to members. I'm shocked that I'm making money and charging only $20. So I feel so guilty. I <laughs> give it back to members. $75. We've given over a million and a half dollars in the last two years, just to people like you. So let us help you, please. It does our heart good. And everybody here is really good people and all they're here is to help you find the help you need and let us try to do that because it makes our heart grow and that's why we're very selfish people because we know that giving feels so good <laughs> so let us give to you too